See, well, you might have seen the ads playing on your television before, maybe even take this supplement that promises to help with brain health and improve memory, but do they work? UAB diet nutrition expert, Beth Kitchen here, Dr. Beth Kitchen has been looking into this. These ads for Prevagen right. are prevalent. Yes, <laughs> they are. I see them all the time and they promise you a lot, but do they deliver? And that's yeah. the big question. Yeah, so and what about the research? What does it show? So what we see when we look at the research, there have been three Three studies in humans. Yeah. Uh, two of them were pretty bad studies. They didn't even make it into a peer-reviewed uh, journal. Hmm. They didn't have a control with a with a placebo. So those studies we look at with a lot of skepticism. You can't really draw any conclusions from that. Okay. They did one study that had actually a pretty strong design. Okay. Had a placebo group, meaning that you've got someone taking the supplement and then someone taking a sugar pill. Now you really have to have that, Mike, because that controls for the placebo effect. Right. Yeah, something with our memory. How do we know if our memory is improving? That's mm -hmm. a lot of perception there, right? right? Sure. So unless we're taking these memory tests that really guard against that and then looking at them later, and even that without a placebo, you can't tell. So this study did make it into a peer-reviewed journal. Okay. Well, it showed no really significant differences oh. between the placebo group and the Prevagen, okay. all right? So then you would think that the FTC, who is the Federal Trade Commission, would sort of go after them for making false claims. Okay. They, as a supplement, they could sell their supplement. What they're not legally allowed to do is make false claims about it. So they could sell it, but they're making promises it's really not backed up by the so evidence. They're not delivering. Right. But of course, they're claiming otherwise. Are they citing those two other studies? For no, they're okay. really citing okay. this one study that they also did some fancy footwork, reanalyzed stuff, came up with some other things that they okay. think they found. But then the FTC takes them to court. Now, mm -hmm. you'd think that they'd win. Pretty slam dunk case. Well, it turns out the judge throws it out because the FTC failed to show that the supplement didn't work. Oh. Okay. So now we've got this situation where, since the FTC couldn't show it didn't work, that's their level of, uh, that, that, that's where they're setting the bar instead of on the company right. saying you have to show it mm. does work. Well, so. if I'm not mistaken, I think this company claims they, they make this product of parts of a jellyfish, right? That's right. So but what if somebody out there is taking this stuff saying, look, Dr. Betke, I take this stuff and I think it works. Well, you know, if somebody's taking it and they want to take it knowing these facts, I think that's fine. That is your choice. They're probably spending 40 to $60 a month. I think what I'm speaking to is if you want an evidence-based supplement, if you want to spend your money wisely, and if you want to know that it's got evidence to back it up. And always remember that when that one person says it worked for them, what does that really mean? That's an anecdote. Anecdotes are not evidence. And remember, these kinds of things, when we say we're doing better, it's, it's subjective. It's our perception. Right. If it's working for you okay. or you think it's working for you, I would not tell you to stop. It's probably pretty safe, but you should be looking out for wouldn't, that. Wouldn't it be smarter, though, for these companies who make these type claims to go ahead and pay for an independent study to right. see if their product works before they put it on the market? Well, the problem is they often don't work, and so they don't. They really okay. don't want to do that. And that's the problem with this study is the study that was published was done solely within the company. That was not an independent study. That doesn't necessarily make it a bad study if they followed protocols, okay. but you always have to question that. And so we have to be skeptical. If you want to be a wise shopper, spend your money wisely. Now, of course, we all want, as we get older, sure. right, to sure. preserve our memory, our brain health. Yeah. Right, and yeah. so that's where they get us because we're like, okay. I want that to be true. Absolutely. But it's right. not really backed up so far. So we'll wait till all some right. better better studies come out. All right, well, and then you can find out more on your blog. Tell folks right. where to see your blog. Blog? The blog is uh, The Kitchen Sink, so look for The Kitchen Sink. Also look for me on Twitter at, at Dr. Beth K. Okay. And then also the Facebook page, Nutrition Trends. So take right. a look at us. Dr. Beth Kitchen, some good analysis this morning. Careful about those supplements you're taking.